Hello, everybody, and welcome. I am here with Davis Finney, and we are going to be talking about sleep. So, Davis, can you tell us a little bit about your sleep, how it is for you, if you have any routines, and you know how what difference it makes in in your own quality of life? Well, I find that sleep is one of the keys to living well with Parkinson's, or not. In in the if you don't sleep well, you just have to try to find, figure out how, how to get more sleep or more quality sleep. And so for me, my evolution with this disease, which I've lived with for over 20 years, is, has been one of, initially I was not, I was always a very light sleeper and went up to or got up to use the bathroom two or three times a night, even, even when in the initial stages of having Parkinson's. And that only grew worse over time as my tremor and whatnot would kick in when I'd wake up. And so then I was trying to sleep while pinning my hand down. And, and my sleep devolved into a series of 15 to 20, 20 minutes naps with waking up 10 to 20, 20 times a night being quite calm, calm. And that was all changed to a large degree when I had DBS, which allowed me to to not have the tremor response. And then I gradually grew into being able to sleep longer and longer at night. But, but now, all these years later, I sleep, I would say, fairly well. And it's still the, my vein is getting up at night and, and stumbling to the bathroom and whatnot. And so I've, I've been recently focused on minimizing those trips by, by drinking less at night and even working out later in the day so that if I have a bike ride or something where I'm sweating or working out, then I come home and I don't intentionally dehydrate myself. But in a sense, I'm a little bit dehydrated when I go to bed. And that, that allows me to just sleep relatively uninterrupted for hours versus minutes before. And so that's helpful. I also use a CBD product that helps me stay calm. And, 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 and it's not that it puts me into such a deep state of sleep as much as it allows me to go back to sleep when I've woken up. Because I think with Parkinson's, most of us have trouble laying in one place comfortably for lengthy time. And so we have to get up and, and move in the bed, which is, can be a chore. And so, so the CBD helps, allows my, my whole system to stay calm and, and get back to sleep in, in versus just flipping over and over and over and over. Right. Would you say, um, can you tell a difference in your sleep quality if you have exercised that day or not? Yes. I mean, in general, if I have not done any exercise and it's not because I'm tired or whatnot, it's just because of the vagaries of life. And that, those are the nights when I struggle more with restless legs mm -hmm. and more with wakefulness. And so I find that having 
done some form of aerobic exercise, whether it's walking, hiking, or cycling, that really helps, again, sort of get me into a place where I can be calm and, and, and able to sleep definitely better. Great. Well, thank you very much. I hope everybody takes a great tip from you. First of all, exercise. Second of all, think about if water is, or, you know, hydration, overhydration is keeping you up at night. Think about maybe cutting it off a little bit earlier. Um, don't try and purposefully dehydrate yourself, but maybe try not to drink so much after four or 5 PM, depending upon when you go to bed and, um, take whatever supplements that you think might help you. And if CBD or CBN or something like that is something that you'd like to try, talk to your doctor and um, see if you can figure out a routine that will help you kind of go to bed at the same time, wake up at the same time and um, improve your quality of life. So the next day you feel energized enough to do the things that you can do that will improve your life. Yes. And and you've, you've raised a number of good points that I would emphasize about trying to go to sleep, make it a ritual so that again, you have, you've created a good habit that you expect to be able to get to sleep at a certain period of time and whether that involves reading or whatnot. I mean, those are all good things to incorporate into your sleep protocol. And whether, I mean, one thing that I do also is that I'll, I'll somewhat meditate by focusing on my breath. And, and, and the reason that that helps is that it clears my head from stuff that's, that would otherwise be keeping me away. And so when I, when I wake up at night, I frequently will just start counting my breath as in like one, two, one, two, one, two. And, and that's, again, it's, it's like a way to distract myself by bringing myself back to something that that I have control over. And lastly, with sleep, not to bring in too much of my personal habits, but I think this is important, is that Connie and I have, have grown to, to have separate beds in our bedroom because of my REM sleep disorder behavior which was becoming a threat to her, you know, where I would lash out in my dream. And so she, she had, after showing me a few bruises, which I had inflicted unintentionally on her, she said, we need to find a better solution. And so the separate beds have, have proven very helpful. And we, we stack them right next to each other. But just having that separation of blankets and sheets and whatnot has helped us immeasurably. And so now when I act out in my dreams, which I do less of, thanks to separating our beds, then I, all I do is disturb my own sleep and not hers. And, and I think psychologically that helps me sleep even better in general because I'm not worried about always waking her up from if I am moving around a lot at night. And so that would be my, my tip for anyone who's having trouble with, with REM sleep disorder. Great, thanks, that's a great tip. And it's, it's really interesting to say, 
that you know once you separated the beds you you aren't maybe you weren't acting out as much just just yeah. calming your own self and not having to worry about it maybe um you know, limited the the reactions that you are having while you're sleeping. Yes, very right. much so. Good. Well, thank you, Davis. Sure. Thanks, Mel. Well.